that's a good physician, you remember that you must look at all the patient factors before starting treatment. So you put her on lifestyle changes as well as on metformin. She comes to see you three months later on treatment, and now her A1C is 7.8%. Her blood pressure and her cholesterol levels are better. And you can see now that she has improved her treatment. She has gone from the orange to the green. So this is a very easy way for the patients as well as physicians to look at how your treatment is working. So here is an older gentleman who comes with this foot wound on his leg over here. He also has type 2 diabetes. And he has an x-ray show gas in the soft in the soft tissues in the skin. The patient goes for emergency surgery and he has this big ulcer on his foot. So as you can see, he is in the red. But 12 months later, a year later, you can see how nice he And this can only be achieved with a team approach. And now he's on in the green. He's moved from the red up to the green. So every patient is always sent for education and works with the of providers to make them more in charge of their diabetes. And I apologize, some of the pictures don't show that I have showing some of the newer glucose monitoring and insulin pump data that we use to monitor to follow our patients. I found that some of the pictures that I have shown some of the newer glucose monitoring and insulin pump data that we use and again, remember to screen all your patients with diabetes for eye disease, for kidney disease, and for nerve damage. Secondly, also in order to prevent heart disease and strokes in your patients with diabetes, you must always ask them to stop smoking, control their blood pressure, and control their lipids. So there are several new GLP-1 agents under clinical development. And there are several new GLP-1 agents under clinical development. And even further upstream are agents targeting L cells that make the GLP-1 hormones. And the GLP-1 there's also a lot of interest in the kidney. There is, there is a transporter known as SGLT2. This reabsorbs 90% of glucose, so agents have been developed to block the SGLT2 inhibitor. There is also interest in the level of the beta cell and this new receptor known as GPR40 and agents are being developed to target this new receptor at the beta cell level. 
其实根据高档的话，也有新的研究发现，就是可以就是对于治疗糖尿病方面有用。And that's because not only do the class of agents known as lipokinase activators again at the level of the beta cell in the pancreas. So I would like to just end by giving a special thanks to Dr. Sawada Sawada and Dr. 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 Sawada and we also have grant support from a couple of, from several sponsors, and these are our research people. These are the people who are part of the team for the team for the team for the team for the team. And with that, I thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. GLP的那个药物，它可能在这方面的话效果。